Alright, well, I know what I have to do. But... This music... Why do I know this music? Am I... Is the Matrix crashing? What? I know this music from somewhere. This is a thing. This is music... Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. This is gonna drive me crazy. Where do I know that? Alright. Whatever. We're just gonna look around first, because that's what you do in games like this. Ooh. There's the camera equipment. Two nights ago, your friend Weasel called from Amsterdam. Hey, rat. I need you to find me a painting just like this one. Mediocre or bad quality. Anonymous painter. Painted in the 1880s in the Netherlands. In its original frame. I'll come to Paris personally to pick it up in two days. Don't tell John or anybody else, okay, rat? Meet you right near the beach. Bye! The still life fits her requirements perfectly. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh. I'll pay you a lot for that painting when I close a deal. But I'll give you a little present in advance. Tomorrow, you'll receive a parcel from me. A set of micro cameras with mics. Incredibly small. There for you to set up a little security system in your shop. You have things I'm interested in, and I don't want to see you get robbed. Right near the beach. <laughs> it's not going to get old for me. All right, sure. Can I take it? There's security cameras, not for taking pictures, but before you mount them, you'll have to work out the Baxter thing. Okay. Your father got this carving for a ridiculous price because it was in really bad shape. But he did an excellent restoration job. Ooh, I can't look around. The closed mouth forms the unsound, symbol for the death of all things. It gives this Neo, a protector of Buddha, the nickname Ungyo. How do you even say that? Is it like a like a gyro? An ungyo? Or is it a gyro? Hell if I know. Ooh. The hand forbids passage! That's why this statue was put in a special entry to a temple. Then we took that shit, and now anyone can go in. I'm sorry, the nipple? All right, hold on, let's go here. Before we focus on that nip. As far as you know, the Street Fighter characters Gukin and Akuma, your favorite, are based on this Neo. But they went freestyle with the collar. The nipples are so huge that Facebook's algorithm would censor them. But, since neither you nor Le Tout Petit have an account in the network of networks, you'll never find out. I don't know, I feel like there's a Russian bot somewhere that's all about big nips. The upside down staff symbolizes a latent strength or power restrained. If you remember correctly, the base was not included with the original statue your father put it in. Oh, there's some secrets in there. Okay. Is that it, then? I guess so. What, I got, what about this guy? He's just thinking. Mm, I'm a fallen angel. I remind myself of the devil's son. <laughs> oh, John. I can't look at that one, huh? Let's see. Is she, like, wearing yoga pants? Look. she She's like, I shot myself so I can get back in my pants. That's how it works now. There's her daddy. You wish your father were here to see how well you're doing and how happy you are with John. But not that happy. Right? See? Oh my god. Is this game going to end with them getting, like, separated? Because she's like, I can do better. Is that, is that where this is going? Keeps a weird photo next to our bed of him as an old man. It's just creepy. A plaster copy of Nefertiti's bust, also known as the Mona Lisa of Amarna. When you were eight, you modeled it with your father's help. Choke, who was relatively sane at the time, said you'd be the next Michelangelo. Do 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 do. The song's gonna drive me crazy because I know it from somewhere. The best ink for rubber and wood. The bad news is it takes a long time to dry. Ooh, but I have it now. Was that? Could I get that? Oh yeah. Fixative. Perfect for drying ink when you're in a hurry. So those are the symbols. You made a 3D model of the coin based on John's description. He says you nailed it. Oh, 
there's a hammer. Nobody knows that when you were 15, you broke somebody's knee in a street fight using a hammer just like this one. No one except the owner of the broken knee, obviously. Damn. Damn, girl. Mm, is there anything else I can mess with? Can I... Ooh, chest. The last antique that your father ever bought. A chest used by the French royalty in the 17th century. You could sell it and pay off many debts, but no, you just can't. The bolt is so tight, you can't move it. How long has it been since you last opened this chest? Well, I guess we can pop these open at least. Uh, is it as simple as hammer? Sure, you could open it with a hammer, but you'd also damage the bolt. You could use the nylon hammer instead, but where did you put it? What? Oh, so I have to find a completely different hammer. Hmm, can I just like, hey. You'll need the nylon hammer to open. Okay, yeah, but where is it? I'm not going to get a hint? Can I, hold on, can I look at myself for a second? Like, hmm. You don't like to use lipstick or any kind of makeup. You don't even wear piercings anymore. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, she's strong and independent. The only holes she wants in her head are the ones she puts there. Also, for someone not obsessed with makeup, you certainly are obsessed with looks. Better without wrinkles, old age means physical weakness, and you can't allow yourself to be weak. Damn. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to save John during last year's crash. Well, I guess she's putting all the pressure on herself to keep John alive. That's because she loves him so much. Question mark. Now that's what you call comfortable shoes. Not John's little coffins. Damn, she just tiny foot joked John. Took his ass out. And then the stomach again. John views your body as a child factory. But you won't give in. Didn't I already see this before? Is that just the focus of this entire... John just wants babies, the game. All right, well that doesn't, none of this helps me really. Um, I guess we could try to, well I don't think, all right. My original thought was we could go down to the bottom here, past the nip, all the way down to this box, past the nip down to the box, and we could see what was in there if we just like hammered, but I don't want to destroy it. Is there anything back here? No. Well, we started in here, right? Have we been outside? Ah, our creepy, creepy friend is out here. I have so many... Ooh. Le tout petit. The stairs lead to the front street where the antique shop's main door is. Guess I can't do anything on there. Oh, there is like a poster for... an ninja thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a businessman. <laughs> it could be a ninja or a businessman. I don't know. Oh, there's the sign. Ooh, come on. You imagine it's named after the character in Les Mis. You loved it as a child. I could go that way. Before I move on, let's... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's right there. Just let me. Just let me. Alright. What if I just do... Shoop. Today's the first time you got in the van since the accident. It's not that traumatic, but if you can avoid taking another ride, all the better. Can't look around there, huh? Is there anything over here? Just this. That's it. Alright, dude. What's going on with you? You understand how dear he is to John, but do you really have to work with the guy? He's kind of creepy. As far as I remember from the first game, he is a genuine crazy person. You gave him that kerchief on his birthday because you were going to throw it out anyway. Now he wears it with pride. Is just that face. <laughs> yep. 
He has the same t-shirt in different colors, even a red, white, and blue one, complete with star stripes and the USSR acronym. You bought these trousers for John, but he thought they were too modern. I like his shoes, though. Those are very, those are very nice shoes. Is there anything about his like face? Hmm. I guess, I guess that's it. Question mark. I'd, I'd probably focus on his eyes. Do got killer eyes. Boris. Hey, boss. Wow, that was very like Boris. Hey, Boris. I don't. That's how they talk all the time. This is gonna be a great conversation. John told you to park the van. Yes. Are you doing it? That's something I'm debating with him. You'll pay the fine next time, okay? Seems fair, boss. Who is this? This guy is like. I went to Cliche Villain High School and graduated college with a Cliche Villain. Villain? That's right. Now I'm I'm a billionaire. Did you take the van to the repair shop? You told me to go today, but the Baxter thing is more important, isn't it? Yes, but... I'll take that as a thanks, Boris. Happy birthday. Damn. Are you sure you got it right? You sure she's interested in the Neo sculpture? She said she had a soft spot for Japanese carvings, and as far as I know, ours is a marvel, isn't it? Ours? Yours. I can't find the nylon hammer. Ah, uh, here we it? go. What? Why? None of your business. You want it? Give it to me. Sure, boss. What is... This is why these two need to have a talk. John and her need to... Happy birthday. They need to have a conversation, because I'm just letting you know that this guy, if I was her, I'd be like, I he's creepy, John. I know he's your friend, but he's creepy. He's creepy and weird, and I feel uncomfortable around him. That's what I would say. I would let him know. That's what a good relationship is. I want you to stop calling John Choke. Okay. But his name is Choke. 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 Choke, 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 choke. Stop it, Boris. Okay. End of argument. Choke. Yep. I would uh, have a conversation with John and let him know what's up. Speaking of John, can I, like... Can I switch? Oh, I can't. Your turn, John. Where's John? Oh, you Google Victoria Baxter while your mind thinks of the perfect gift. Oh, my. She's on the cover of Smokers Monthly? Oh, she is famous. Then you find her family sigil in intricate letter B and press the print icon. Okay, so I assume it wants me to go. Wait, how come the other song? The other song was like a cute little ditty that's gonna get stuck in my head all day. This, this is a made for HBO porn. Did someone order a pizza with extra sausage? Oh my, that is big. You get what you pay for. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, let's just look around here first. See what uh, his perspective is. You imagine it's named after the character in Les Mis, which you still enjoy, and you don't need to be a child in order to. Pauline. Uh, the stairs lead to the front of the street. Yeah, okay, yep. Even though the little square is a dead end and the van doesn't bother anyone, the Paris cops don't seem to see it that way. Um, let's do this. The last friend you had when you called yourself Choke. You were crazy then, and he's crazy now. Also, without the kerchief, he really looks like the French author Georges Perret, Perec, hell if I know, who once wrote a complete book without ever using the letter E. And who you are certain you met in a previous life. Maybe it's like its neck. Usually their face has something, no? Yet, despite his name, he doesn't even have the slightest trace of a Russian accent. He's just a huge fan. What relationship does he have with the USSR? Not jeans? I can't look at his jeans? I guess not. 
Uh, sleeve. Why does he wear long sleeve under short ones? Wouldn't the opposite make more sense? Because he's a cool dude. Calm down, Pastman. It's the hip thing to do. In 1994. I guess I could go inside and talk with her. Hey. Um, explore. When you met her, she had a piercing on her lip. Okay, I knew that. We already went over that. Once, just after meeting her, Pauline closed her eyes and asked you, what color are my eyes? And then I straight up lied to her, right? Okay, so this is all the same. Awful, unlike your elegant classic shoes. Oof. Oof, some couples not meant to be together. Last night, you were both ringing in bed. You caressed her belly. It was weird. Okay, well, I guess we can talk. Pauline. Tell me. What? Damn. Pics. Have you taken the photos of the statue? But you haven't even given me time to take the camera. Oh, yeah, right. That, that would be useful. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little worked up with everything that's going on these days. Any progress with the statue's documentation? Not yet, but I'm on it. Okay, so I need to get the pics. Document. Oh my god, blood in the shower. Here we go. I saw some red drops in the shower. Did you hurt yourself or something? John, why do you think I took two showers today? I don't know. It came just after the first shower. What came? John, have you learned nothing about women in 500 years? Don't lie to oh. him like that. No, don't lie to him like that. <laughs> don't you? It. How dare you? How dare you? Now we have to ask about her period? Is that where we're going? Is that what, was that what we're doing? Talking about your period. Don't, John. Don't. Wait, you're going to use this as a moment to bring up kids? John, this relationship is a mess. Well, you it had it a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? Oh, this relationship is a mess. It's come up before. Tension, the debts. Nope. Nope. This is a house built on lies. Y'all just lie to each other left and right. An email arrived from the Antiques Association of Paris for the annual party thing. I don't think we can go. T too much work. It's just one night. I mean, it's not like we get invited to a lot of costume par- Then you remember last year you dressed up as Einstein. Pauline wore a Guy Fox mask and she was in a bad mood all night. You didn't have a clue till you came back home and saw Chokes pick in your room. Okay, you're right. Way too much work. She just doesn't like great hair dudes? I guess she does have a problem with aging. That's very true. Foundation of lies. How can you work with that music? It gives me energy. The opposite of those prehistoric lullabies that you like. Wait, if I tell you that it's a mysterious redhead playing this track, will you like it better? Yes. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> She's right. Okay, question, can I? Oh, 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 he's gone. All right, well then I guess we will switch back. Your turn, Pauline. And now I have the hammer, we'll come over here. The song is gonna be stuck in my head for days. I know this song from somewhere. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll do this. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, well, first take the camera. When John gave you this camera, you pretended to be angry. It was way too expensive. What is this relationship is a mess. An antique expert's magnifying glass. Big, but perfect for tasks that demand accuracy. And then this thing. One of the books your father became obsessed with because of choke. He even built a six foot five reconstruction of the cross on the cover. Okay, so I guess we come back over here. Yep, the statue, and then we do the old hoopty. Boop. You press the button, the screen displays the following text Impossible to save data, insert memory card in SD slot. We won't be able to take pictures without an SD card to save data. Are you kidding me? 
by the way, uh, for those of you who are unaware, go online, look up the astronaut who went to space, was going to film himself moonwalking, and left his SD card back home. He, uh, there's audio of him talking with NASA. He's like, uh, NASA, what does it mean when it says, uh, missing SD card? What does that mean? And NASA's just like, uh, we think it means that you don't have any way to save. And he's like, oh, can I not film stuff? NASA? It's incredible. It's incredible. Um, go definitely find that. It's really, really funny. So I assume I need to go talk to John. Do you think he'll have one? I don't know this guy's going to have one, but I guess we can ask. Joke, 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 Stop joke, it, joke. you ass. Nope. Hey, buddy. John. John. Ooh, let's ask about this other stuff. Okay. You look strange today. Is it because of the nightmare? No. Yes. I, I don't know. It's like my memories are trying to tell me something. But what? Are you sure that Baxter is interested in the Neo? I know you're fond of the sculpture, but I think of it as a chess pawn. We lose it to save the shop, and of course she'll like it. According to Boris, she loves Japanese carved sculptures, and she won't find anything as good as our Neo. I guess you're right, but there's less and less of my father here. Oh my god. Okay, choke. I can't stand him calling you choke. Why can't he get used to your real name? Because Choke was, I was, the first good thing that happened to him after he lost his son and he went mad. Give him some time. We've talked about this a lot of times. He's a bad worker, he costs us money, and, and we don't need him anyway. I won't leave him again, Pauline. I promised him I'd take him out of the madhouse, and I did it. But now if I leave him in the street, what'll become of him? You should see how he treats me when you're not around. I don't know, maybe he's jealous. Jealous? He only has me. You bite your tongue. You don't need John and never will, but who else do you have? Damn. He says happy birthday more and more. He, he's getting worse. I wouldn't say that. I find him more centered. I mean, it's been months since he phoned the police to ask them about his son. Yeah, now he just looks for him on Facebook. Damn, there's a lot of Facebook shout-outs in this game. You already know what gift to give the collector? No, not yet. But I'll get an idea from the info I googled about her. I'm starting to get the feeling that no matter what, at the end of this game, they're going to find out all their information's online. Everyone's going to know they're immortal. That's definitely where this is going, right? They have Boris, who is obviously a Russian plant. It's all coming together. John's just going to go Google stuff, and then there's going to be ads in the corner for shower cleaner. Hey, do you have the SD card? Nope, but let me look for it. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to look for it, which means we probably are switching over to him. Boop. Your turn, John. Okay, I'm... Jesus, he was hiding back there. Can't see me. All right, so we got a little room over there. We have whatever this is. This music, man. I don't know how that last scene was going to end, but I thought it was going to end with a lot less clothes. Uh, you sold all those pieces to another Parisian antique shop at a loss because you can't sell them to your clients. All these articles were supposed to leave this place last week. Ooh. Okay, I can look, I guess. The phoenix dies and rises from its ashes. Curious, isn't it? Yes, the vase is a great place to hide something if things get hairy. Of course, it won't happen now, but you've lived through so many unexpected situations that you always plan those kinds of things. Sometimes out of the blue, you hear a melody. And see the image of a red-headed girl. Mamma mia, the game just got good! What part of your past does that image belong to? The best part. The best possible part. Also, what if I don't accidentally... What if I don't accidentally select one of those things? What? Oh, I guess I'm taking the box. Okay. 
Can I just look at this vase without selecting a thing? No, well, I guess I guess it's that's what's happening to my life. Okay. Um so there's that, there's that over there. I can't look at the night. Oh, I can look at the night. Sometimes when you touch or look at certain items, you remember things from previous lives, although it's been happening less lately. You've touched that armor a zillion times and you have never remembered a thing, so you're pretty sure you didn't fight in the Crusades. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have got... The wallpaper is falling day after day. Let's hope this thing with Baxter helps you pay all the debts left by Petite. But the one to blame was really you. Can't look at that, huh? A table with alchemy elements. Part of your past. I remember that damn puzzle. Okay. What the? Oh, there's the SD card. Okay. Boop. Defying all logic, you extract an SD card from the SD port. Minds were blown. Um, what was this? The D key? You bought this laptop in New York a couple years ago when you went there to bring Boris back here. Much better than French, French Azerty keyboards where the Q and W swap places with the A and Z. Get out of town with that shit. Nonsense. Nonsense. You use this computer to research pieces, manage the shop's accounts, and from time to time play Crusader Kings. You love how realistic the game is, especially how you keep dying throughout the ages. <laughs> um, let's do this. You type in the URL or website, oof, and the password that's in the email you send yourself every day. Scar. When you die, you resurrect, but your body comes back to the shape it was in when you died for the very first time, and without any of your memories. So, although you had that scar erased with laser surgery, it's going to appear again if you die. Your best girl. Thanks to her, you've got a very worthwhile present. If the scar on your hand comes back, go to her and do whatever she tells you to do. You work at the antique shop that Pauline inherited from her father. Years ago, when you were known as Choke, you went crazy and lost your mind and ended up living in a derelict metro station in New York, where the psycho found you. Down in the Cadway metro station, you made friends with another crazy street person. He was as nutty as you were. And what drove him crazy was that he couldn't accept the death of his son. Years later, you got him out of the loony bin they put him into and brought him to Paris, where he works with you and Pauline now. Three years ago, a totally crazy millionaire found you at Cadway, and he discovered that you were an immortal, and so he used you to become one himself. The crazy tycoon wasn't alone. He had a hunting dog who did everything he was ordered to do. White killed you, and when you resurrected with no memory, he lied to you. He gave you a false life, a false past, a false career, even a false mother. Yet, although White manipulated you into finding the Potion of Immortality, you also discovered some things you weren't supposed to. When that happened, like at the Hotel Doré in Paris, he killed you. And when you came back, he manipulated you again, making you start all over again. The last time that psycho killed you, he made you swallow mercury. That was a little mistake, because from then on, you started to remember small pieces from your past, which helped you to finish with him. Your findings led you to the ruins of the Church of St. Fergus in Scotland, where you remembered how you were made an immortal, and where you threw the psycho into a well. 
Fines de Orduña, founder of the Order of the Flesh, transmuted your body in 1501 so you could return from the dead. However, he excluded one of the ingredients from the potion of immortality, mercury, without which you come back without your memory. The weirdest thing is that Hines was in your dream. You met him as a boy. The coin of judgment is the main ingredient of the potion of immortality. You believe that if you can find one, you'll be able to undergo the same ritual, this time with mercury, so that in the future you won't lose your memory again. A mysterious blind master appears in your dreams, but only there, because his name is not in any history book. You don't even know in which era you met him. Okay. I mean, I guess that website is Recap Game 1, The Recap. Cool. Uh, I did want to do this, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graphics card, the processor, just about everything. So basically, she's a PC person. Is that what I'm getting out of this? Um, Let's do Baxter? Oh, no? Okay. Well, I guess I need to go deliver the SD card. And I can take the photo, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. This is a lot of work to take this photo. Uh, talk. SD Here, card. I guess you'll need this to take the pics. Oops, thanks. Uh, where was it? In the laptop slot. You left it there, I guess. Oh, sure. I, I, I emptied it yesterday. It old... Picks. The, the, the ones we took from um, uh, that Tibetan mortar. Dude, she lied to you. She lied to you. Why it all lies? Why this whole relationship built on lies? Man. All right, your turn, Pauline. So let's do this and this with this. Now we're good to go. I like how this is just like, now you know how cameras work. The game. You look fabulous, darling. Snap. Snap. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me see that nipple. My goodness. What a nip that is. She'll love it. Love it, darling. Now you're a tiger, growl. If he was like, yo, what up? That would blow my mind. I'd be done. I'd be done. I'd be like, mm, walking away. Done. Now you only need to find the documents of authenticity to convince Baxter and secure the sale. Oh, and there's John's little gift too, although you don't know that's gonna help. Great. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boats. It's a professional broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You 